Hey guys, so a few days ago I was watching some videos and of course I was like 15 related videos deep and wondering how I ever got here and I stumbled upon how cotton candy was made. Now I love cotton candy and I saw how the machine worked so I thought I'd try and make one. And lucky for you guys I was too lazy to go buy parts for this video. This machine is made 100% from materials I already had and I bet you have most of them if not all of them too. Also if you end up liking this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, before we start, shout out to my new channel that's all about breaking interesting stuff open to see what it looks like and how it works. It's called Inside Out, go check it out. For materials we're going to need a soup can, an old DC power brick, preferably with an output of around 5 volts, a few tea light candles, and a one inch bolt with a few nuts that fit onto it. Doesn't really matter the diameter, but preferably thicker for better support. Also a large bolt. Don't worry, we won't be cutting into it, so it can be reused. Also you'll need a DC motor. I ripped this one out of a toy helicopter, so if you have any old RC toys, check those. Also this paper towel tube that fits over the motor that I cut down to a little longer than the motor. And finally two old CDs. The first step is to solder the two wires from your DC power brick to the motor. You can also tape the wires if you want. When you plug in the brick, the motor should turn on. Next, slip the tube over the motor and scratch up the middle of one of the CDs. Now put some super glue on the end of the tube and glue it to the middle of the CD, like this. Next, scuff up the other CD and glue that one to the top of the cardboard tube. Now grab your soup can and cut the bottom off right at the first bridge, like this. Then trace out a piece of paper around the can, fold it in half a few times in different places, and right where the folds meet, make a mark on the can. Now drill a hole that's big enough that your bolt can fit snugly down through. Next, grab a small nail and a hammer, and make a few holes around the outside of the soup can, like this. Also, don't forget to bend down the top of the can to stop the liquid from flying out the top. Now, my motor came with a gear attached, and chances are yours will too. So grab the nut and glue slash tape the nut to the top of the gear like this. When you plug in the power brick, it should all still spin. Now scratch up the top of the CD and the bottom of the candles and then glue the candles to the CD like this. The scratches make for a better glue bond. Next, screw in the bolt to the nut. I added some Teflon tape to prevent the bolt from wobbling around, but that's optional. All right, now all we have to do is put the machine inside the bowl and tape it down. Now to make the cotton candy mix, just grab one part table sugar and one part water and boil it on the stove. Also add a few drops of food coloring if you want. Once it's nice and goopy, pour out the mixture into the container. Alright, now light the candles on your machine and plug in the power brick. Then pour the hot mixture into the machine like this. And grab a skewer and start gathering up your cotton candy. The candles will keep the mixture hot as it's forced through the holes in the can. As you can see, for being made from household materials, it does a decent job. Now keep in mind, I only ran the machine for about a minute, so if you wanted more cotton candy, all you'd have to do was run it for longer. Well, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to get updates on my latest videos. Also check out my Facebook and Instagram as well. So that's about it for today guys, so I'll catch you in the next one.